All right, welcome to the official uh, tutorial for the new Morphe College Meal Prep program. I'm Talia, and we just created this, and I'm super excited to give you a tour. So let me just log in here. Okay, let's get started. So when you log in, um, you will first come to the recipe discovery page. This is where all of our recipes live. Um, as you can see, the featured recipes up here are going to be the same as what's in the most recent meal plan. And everything below is just listed chronologically based on when we have uploaded it into the new site. So up here, you can search uh, different recipes. We have three different ways you can search. Um, you can only search ingredients that we have. So if you start typing something and it doesn't come up, that means that we don't have that ingredient in our database. Um, you can also add multiple ingredients to your search. You can even add on different categories and see what we have, if anything, <laughs> depending on the category. And yeah, this makes our search a lot better. And you can search by title as well. So that's the recipe search. Um, you can filter by prep time, cook time, date published, and rating. Right now, there are no ratings because everything is new. We have to start our ratings over. You can favorite and bookmark recipes for the future here, which we'll get into a bit later. Um, but let's go check out an actual recipe. So here's our new recipe layout. There's a lot you can do here. This little icon, little arrow, means you can open it in a new tab. We have our ratings servings, prep and cook time, favoriting, bookmarking, add to calendar, and print. So a lot of buttons up here. And then we added these special buttons that actually change the recipe below. So you don't have to worry about keeping track of multiple different versions. So you can make anything omnivore, vegetarian, vegan, which automatically turns on the dairy-free toggle, and gluten-free. Gluten-free can apply to all of these diets where dairy-free is mostly for the omnivore diet. Yeah, it's pretty neat. All of our recipes have this feature now and you can, you know, do whatever you want. Recipe notes are below the recipe now, so you don't have to worry about scrolling. So if you need some more information, you can always find it below the recipe. Um, if you wanna favor something, just tap the heart. If you wanna save it for later, you can do that. Um, you can change the servings here. So if you change it to a serving amount that we didn't test it for, you'll get this little heads up, just so you know, you know, we didn't test it for that. But the ingredients will reflect whatever serving size you want to 12. Um, all right, so that's the, that is the recipe situation. Let's say you wanna add it to, actually let's go over to the weekly meal planner. By the way, this is the, menu you can just roll your mouse over the three lines up here and that'll pop out so now we're going to head over to the weekly meal plan this is what we send out every week this is what it looks like so you have your meal planning grid up here you have the swap notes and multitasking tips here so everything's all you know there just in different places um, this is not editable you have to click edit if you want to make changes, or you could just get your shopping list or you can print it out. Let's say you want to make some changes. So you would just click on edit and then it goes to the meal planner. So here's our new meal planner page, which can also be found here. And this is all editable now and you have access to searching your favorites and bookmark and all of our recipes and you can just drag and drop them onto the planner. So our new planner has a lot, it's very different from what we were working with before. It's a lot faster and easier to use. Um, let me show you what we can do. So let's just say you're cooking for two and you know you wanna have two servings of the, the smoothie. You can stack the recipe and then a little two will appear or you can just expand it again. You can stack it. You can change the diet here with this pink little arrow thing to anything you want. It'll change both servings. So this is kind of how you can start using the meal planner to make the edits that you need. Um, it's pretty sweet. 
You can use this X to delete meals that you don't want and you can put other meals on there. Let's see, you just search for what you want, drag it right onto the planner. It'll automatically expand, but you can stack it. This is really handy for planning leftovers. If you wanna make something for dinner, eat, lunch, eat the lunch leftovers the next day. So yeah, the one thing that we can't do is adding multiple like different meals in the same box. So that's something that we've taken out for now. Um, but everything else is still there um, that you would want and need. Also, you can't add meals. Like you can't add another breakfast line like in our old meal planner. So let's just say you're done using the meal planner and you're ready to get your grocery list, you wanna hit save. It's gonna ask you to name it and it will save to your meal plans that you can have access to forever. So you just save it. And then it's gonna take you to get the shopping list. So here's our shopping list. Um, if you wanna go back to your meal plan to edit it, all you have to do is click this text and you'll be able to go back and edit the plan. So from here, you can save, email it to yourself, print it out. Um, you can check things off that you already have, or you can just simply delete them. You can edit, you know, I'll just say you want to use sour cream instead and click save. You can move things around. You can also add ingredients. So you can add whatever you want. something like that click save then let's just say you're done editing you want to click save and you'll be able to easily come back to this anytime see that little list icon on the top right that is where your list will live always the most recent list that you saved will live there so let's say you're using your phone in the grocery store you'll be able to just tap that little icon and have your list it's pretty handy um Let's say you want to edit it. Again, here you just click edit. This is pretty easy to use and now it'll always live in your meal plan. So this is the fourth menu item. So we have the meal plans you create on this tab and our meal plans, the ones that we send out every week on this tab. You can't edit this, these at all. Like you can't delete plans from this section. Of course, you can edit the plans themselves, but on this section, you can actually just delete plans if you wanna clear them out. Um, so that's how you do it and you can add a new meal plan from here as well. So this is pretty handy. You can stay organized. Um, anything you favorite and bookmark can live here and you know, this is where you can move them around. So if you, let's just say you tried this chow mein and you know you like it or sorry, let's just say you um, favorited something but you haven't tried it yet, you can move it to bookmarked. Um, you can move it to favorites if you'd like as well. And, or you can just remove it if you didn't like it. So this is our, our new favorites and bookmark section. I'm really excited about this and it's pretty easy to use. This is another new feature. You can now have your own account settings. So pr pretty important button up here. If you need to change your credit card or update your password or change your subscription, this is where you would do it. This button right here, you can change your measurement preference here. You can set your diet here and my little icon is covering it, but you can toggle dairy free and gluten free here. And you have to make sure that you save it. There's a save button down there that you can't see. Again, my, my icon's covering it, but you have to click save whenever you make changes and um, it'll say that it's saved. So this is pretty great. I'm really excited about this and we have big plans for these settings that you can use to change the site and make it easy, even easier. Um, down here, we also have member resources. So these are all of our PDFs and just resources we have for you to save money, the pantry list, um, an Excel template if you wanna use that instead. We have it all here for you. We also have an FAQ and support section. So if you wanna easily reach support, click this link and it'll, go, it'll kind of pull up a form and you can just like email us from the site instead of um, having to go to your email app and write an email to us, like you could just easily just click this. If there's something wrong with the site, 
if you, um, again, my icon's covering it, but there is a support, um, sorry, there is a report a bug tab below and you can report an actual issue with the site, which will go to our tech team and they can fix it. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, this is again, really exciting. I'm really excited for you guys to use this. It's so much cleaner and faster and, um, I'm just excited for you to save money and time with our tool and make meal planning fun for yourself. If you have any questions, you can head over to our Facebook group. Um, you can email me at talia at workweeklunch.com or support at workweeklunch.com. DM me. We want to help you learn how to use this to the best way that you can. So we're happy to help. All right, guys. Uh, happy prepping. I'll see you around.